All right, YouTube, what we got going today is a rockfish. We're going to smoke this. Uh, this is a rockfish that's fresh. It was pulled out of the bay, Chesapeake Bay, just yesterday. Take a good look from a different angle here. Look at that head. Look at that eye. You don't see any blood shot in that eye at all. Um, and that's how you can determine how fresh a fish is. The eye doesn't start to bleed. This thing is barely dead. Uh, so that's a really good, nice, fresh fish. And it's huge, too. This is about a... 12 and a half pound rockfish. Uh, so we're gonna feed a lot of people with it. It's gonna be really good. So we've already taken off, um, it's been gutted, it's been cleaned. Taken off the fins. Let's get this tag out of here, out of its mouth. And these are the tags, obviously, that you gotta have just to show that you caught this fish legally. I didn't catch the fish, I got it from the fishmonger. But they gotta have the tags from whoever they. The fisherman that was actually bought the fish just like a deer tag if you hunt or that type of thing. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do, bro? Uh, yeah, quickly, it's, it's gonna be simple, and we're gonna be quick about this. It doesn't take a whole lot to make this thing run. All right? She's big. We've got her clean. We're gonna take on each side. I'm gonna score at a 45 degree angle. Nice deep score marks. All right, very meaty fish. Incredible how meaty this is. If you can appreciate it from the view, that you're getting, uh, but very meaty. You can score deep into that and haven't even hit the bone. Uh, that's how how meaty that fish is. If you can see it, and I hope you can. Uh, if you can see those score marks, how deep they are. Very good. Right. We're gonna flip her over. We're gonna do the same thing to it this way. 45 degrees, give her four score marks across the length of the fish. Alright, let's get it back on this side. I'm going to half a lemon. I'm going to rub it with half a lemon. Try to keep the seeds away. I do anyway. I can't stand opening the lemon seeds later on. I don't want to. All right. Make sure you get the lemon juice up in the score marks as well. All right. Half a lemon per side. That was one side. Before we flip it to do the other side, we've melted a couple of tablespoons of butter and we put some thyme in here. Now it should have been fresh and I didn't have any. Uh, this is another one of those situations that they feel like going back to the store. Um, but this is some dry thyme I'll put in here. Melted butter, a couple of sticks of butter, and you're gonna go over it real good. Go over it really good with the butter. Okay, you see, you wanna get that in there. You definitely wanna get it in the score marks. All right, and be liberal with it. Also, take a little bit and get up in the cavity of the fish. All right. that fish cavity. Real good. Okay. All right. Gonna flip her over, do the same thing on the other side, and I'll be right back. Okay. I've got the other side of the fish done. You can see how pretty she looks. Really nice. All right. Okay, now that that's done, what you're gonna do really quick, I'm gonna hit her with some garlic granulated garlic and I'm going to be liberal with it and obey and I'm going to be very liberal with the obey I don't season the head because I'm not eating the head I leave the head on for presentation and just I don't know it looks good yeah it's presentation yeah, the fish. There is a there are a couple little points on the rockfish actually on each side where you can I don't know where is it at? It's somewhere up in the, Oh right here. Here it is. Where there's actually a chunk of meat. Where if you had a knife and you know bony knife, and I do have one, you can cut it out. It's almost like a little rockfish scallop. No, it's pretty small, but it's nice tasting. I usually don't bother with it. A fish this size I suppose I should because it's it's an expensive fish and why let it go to waste? Um but with that said I don't. Then I got a couple of freshly I got four uh, freshly clipped stems of oregano, 
from the from the uh, from the garden. And what I'm gonna do is put one on each side of this. I'm gonna take this fish, put it onto a big uh, piece of aluminum foil, a couple pieces of aluminum foil I'll piece together. It's gonna lay down on the other side, and then that'll give me access to the opposite side, so I can do the exact same thing I did with this. Okay, and then I'll get it onto the grill, and I'll show you. Okay, there we go. She's fully seasoned. Uh, you, as I said before, I don't do the head. Uh, no need to do the head. But you can see she looks really good. All right. I forgot earlier when I mentioned I was putting this actual seasonings on, uh, pepper. You obviously need pepper on there. And I forgot to say that, but I did add pepper to it. Uh, and that's what you're going to do. We're going to get on the grill, and we'll get back to it. All right, we got it on the grill. She's laid out. She's long. Uh, I got a spot for one more grate, but I don't want to go there because it's going to be right where the uh, fire comes in off the offset uh, firebox. So we're gonna leave it right here, get it in an angle and we get the grill door closed. All right, we're gonna grill it like this for maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes, uh, maybe an hour. I'm gonna try to keep it around 200, 225 smoke, okay? I'm gonna put some uh, mesquite on there, all right? Okay, here we go, we're exactly an hour in. You see this fish has some good smoke on it now. We're at 225 and that's been pretty much where we are, or where we've been. Uh, so let's take the next All right, step. so the first thing next up, we kind of put some foil behind it. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, we cut, curled up the front of this foil, as you can see. Um, and we're going to put some more of this butter on here. I melted a little bit more, actually. Give it a little bit of moisture. We're gonna on. You're going to have to forgive the camera work, but my whole uh, family is gone. And I'm stuck by myself. Put a little bit more on that. We're also going to put a little bit of water in here to add moisture. Uh, and then we're going to fold this aluminum foil over because the fish doesn't have to have any more smoke necessarily it'll even get some more smoky flavor through the aluminum foil but it doesn't need directly on there anymore you can see it's well browned it's got the good smoke on it uh it's been in there for hours it's got the good smoky flavor now what we want to do is get some uh, more heat on it and we're gonna put a little bit of liquid in there to get a little bit of moisture into it and you're gonna see it's gonna be really we got good. it wrapped up you can see we're gonna leave the head out and by the way you can see just so you know it got some good smoke on it uh, that you don't just have the seasonings that look brown. That's the actual head. And if you remember, I didn't season the head, but you look how brown it is, how much smoke it's got on it. So you know it's got good smoke. We got the rest of it uh, sealed up, except for the tail. We got a little opening in the tail, opening the head, actually. You can see both. There's some water in addition to that uh, that uh, additional butter I just added on. You can give it a little bit of room to breathe. So if it starts to steam, it'll get moist. But you have some room for the steam to get out because you you're don't want to. not boiling it. Uh, we're going to get it back on. Uh, at the, about the same temperature, 225 is what we want to do. All right. All right. So we about right. Look at that. Again, I apologize. I'm my my only uh, cameraman today. But look at that fish. And tell me what you think about that. You're gonna see it on the plate in a minute. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, baby. You gotta like that. That's a good smoke fish. That's a rock fish, 12 and a half pounds. Uh, I'm gonna show you a plate in a minute. All right? Okay, so here we go. Brought it in. And I just want you to see how easily this fish will slide off the bone. Get the spatula, put it in there. And you push a little bit. Oh. And it just comes right off the bone. And you can see that how tender it is. Look at that. Falls right off the bone. Alright. So, there you got your plate. This is what I'm going to eat. That's a lot. That's a big piece. But I'm hungry. So that's what I'm going to eat. So, get back to you in a second, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to do the actual taste test. And I hope you like it. Okay. I'm back on my own with the camera. But I would just want you to see how this tastes. Pull a little piece of the fish off, and I'm going to use, you see that rosemary sticking to it. I'm going to use a slight little soy sauce dip on it. Let's see how it tastes. Give me one second. Let's go. Cool. 